Okay guys, for this video I'm going to show you how to make a video in Slate. So, let's open up our folder and I'll show you what the in Slate is going to look like once we're done. And so I'm going to go to my YouTube folder and okay, here is what it's going to look like when we're done. Alright, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Wondershare. Okay, you're going to go to full feature mode. All right. So first we're going to load up our blank end card and our videos. So here's my videos. So I'm going to go ahead and select all three of those. And then we're going to select our end card, which I put in a different folder. Okay, so here is a blank end card that I made. And you can go to PicMonkey and make your own end card. It's really easy. Uh, so I'll put a link for that in the description. But basically, it's PicMonkey.com, I believe. All right, so first thing let's do, let's go ahead and drop our end card down in the video tab. All right, and we're going to stretch our view here. Okay, so this default, by default, it sets it at five seconds, right? And that's about the length that we want our end cards to play at the end of our videos, right? So we're going to leave it there at five seconds. Okay, so now we're going to load up our first video. And... For this video, you can select five seconds of anywhere pretty much. And so this is my drum video on my channel, so I'm just gonna select here in the middle somewhere so you can kind of see it in action. We're gonna cut and then we're gonna go forward and then we're gonna cut again. And you can go more than five seconds because we can always shrink it back down. So then we're gonna delete our sections that we don't want and then we're just going to drag this back and we're going to slide this back to five seconds okay now we're going to do the same thing with our other two videos so I'll go ahead and do that but I'll skip forward so you guys don't have to watch me do the same thing two times again okay guys as you can see I am moving my last video down and in Wondershare, every time you add a video, it'll give you a new line below it, picture and picture one, two, three, and so on. Okay, so now I got my three videos. So now we're gonna add those videos to our end card. Okay. So we're gonna select our first video, we're gonna shrink it down to about the size of a thumbnail. And then we're going to select our second video. We're going to do the same thing. Size of a thumbnail. And click on the screen. Select a third video. Size of a thumbnail. Okay. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and grab that first one. Bring it over here to where my black square is. Size it to that square. Okay. Now we're going to select our second video. Same thing. You want to make sure you're fully engulfing the squares. Okay, and then our last one, my drum video. And you want to try to make everything look uniform and symmetrical and all that. Okay, so now we got these here. And we can kind of see a preview of all those going at the same time. Alright, so now wouldn't it be nice to add a little bit of text to show your viewers what this said video is. So we're going to go to text. And we have tons of text options here. And you can select any one you want because you can always edit them after. So I'll just select a random one here. And we're going to drag that down to the text line. There's only one text line, and you're probably wondering well, don't I need three text lines? No, you don't. I'm going to show you why. All right, double click on your text there. 
All right. So we're going to drag our text line down pretty much to the edge of the left video. Okay. And we're going to shrink it down. I found that around somewhere around the 40s is good. You see, that's 44 is a little bit too big. We're going to try 36 and see what that looks like. That looks like a, that's about right. And then we can play around with our fonts. I like to use, we'll just select uh, Garamond. Pretty standard font. Okay. And let's make that a little bit bigger. Okay, and we can duck on, double click on any one of these for that color. Or we can actually select a color here. So we're going to go with white so the viewers can see what it looks like. And I don't like bold. Or we can double click on this. But it pretty much does the same effect. Okay, and so we're going to drag this down to the bottom. Okay, so now, all right, so my first review there is for my movie review of Insurgent. So I'm going to type Insurgent. And then all I got to do is just space over to about the edge of the middle thumbnail. And that's my Man of Steel review type Man of Steel and we can actually kick that back just a tad to center it okay and then same thing and that's my Rocky 4 training montage drum cover and we'll just call that drum cover because you want your viewers to know what the video is and right, so we got those all set up now when I hit play you see how that animation can go up? Okay, so that's a preset in there. And if you don't like that, if you want that just to stay like that, you can go over to animation and double click on no animation. And there you go. All right, and so now all we have to do is export our video. And you want to export it to, I'd probably do MP4 and just call it whatever you want. I call mine video in slate and I have multiple in slates so if I have another one I'll call this video in slate 2 and put it in the folder of your choice. Hit export and after this is done we'll double click on the file and we'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay guys it just finished so I'm gonna click find target so we can see how it turned out. There's video in slate 2 Gonna double click on that. And there you go. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Post any comments that you have below, any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. And uh, peace out.